And we go to Shelly now in the kitchen. You're going to love this. Did you know the best way to have your coffee is with food? Mm -hmm. Really? Okay, on today's Food is Medicine, Krista Reckia, she's a clinical nutritionist. She's the founder of The Whole Journey. She's here to talk about all those health-boosting benefits to coffee and tea. I don't know if I can do the coffee with the, with the food. You, you don't? No. Okay, then no coffee. Then no coffee. 80% <laughs> of people drink coffee, of, of Americans drink coffee? 83% of Americans drink coffee. That's 100 million people we have drinking coffee every day, but 160 million people are drinking tea. So think cool. about this hot drink in the morning. I think it's our most ceremonial ritual that we have. We mm -hmm. all wake up and we look forward to it, but there's smart ways to drink coffee and there's not so smart ways to drink coffee. Okay. So the cardinal rules if you have coffee, you have to have it with food. A lot of Americans, they just drink their coffee, skip breakfast, and go about their yeah, day. Yeah, I'm sure there's somebody at home right now about to Drinking go coffee, no food. Why? Yes, because it causes what I would say a metabolic nightmare. You're going to have one of those roller coaster days because you're messing up your hormones. You're forcing the release of stress hormone instead of giving your body protein and fat to make it. Oh. So there's nothing wrong with having a cup of coffee in the morning, but have it with your breakfast, not before. Okay. Okay. Now, what kind of coffee should we be drinking? Yeah, what kind? Is there a difference? I've always wondered that. We have a, the coolest little Starbucks machine here that brews coffee for box yeah, people. Yeah, I know that. And there's a button that's decaf and then a button that's regular. Is there a difference between those two? There is a difference between regular and decaf. So, decaf obviously doesn't have caffeine in it, but you want to have a high quality decaffeinated coffee. It's a myth that decaf is healthier for you than regular because they use so many different chemical solvents to force the caffeine out of the bean. Oh. So if you drink decaf, you want to look for Swiss water process. Swiss water process, Swiss and that's better water for process. you? Swiss water process. It's better. You can find it in some coffee shops, and that way they use a filter, and it's naturally decaffeinated. What about espresso? I know that we've been telling our friends at home that you're saying espresso is better than coffee. Yes. Why? Because if you drink coffee within the first 15 minutes of brewing it, it's actually alkaline forming, which means less inflammation, you don't get the acid reflux, you don't get the stomach. You know, a lot of people get stomach pains from the inflammation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if you drink it within 15 minutes, it's much healthier for you. Okay. Every minute after that 15 minutes, it gets more and more acidic. So those of you guys that are drinking your coffee all morning, reheating it in the microwave, that's terrible. It's terrible. Terrible. Do an Americano if you go to a, a coffee shop. Krista, you got me off of uh, coffee. I still have a sip here and there, but no problem. overall, I'm off of coffee from months ago. I know. I'm and so we proud went of to you. tea, and it made. So, and I was like, I can't do that. How am I supposed to get up so early in the morning and, and not do coffee? But it made a tremendous difference in your energy, right? Yes. I was just yes. talking to Kevin. He goes, I gave up coffee a year ago, and I've so much more energy. So much more mm -hmm. energy. So tea is what you say a lot of people are drinking now. So yeah, we have 160 million Americans and I mean this is a ritual around the world. Mm -hmm. And tea is so healthy for you. I actually, you guys have a tea shop literally next door. Tea Gallery just moved in. And so I got this high quality tea and I want to take you through. This is black tea. Okay. Okay, a traditional black tea. It has a little caffeine in it, but, but enough like not as much as coffee to where it doesn't upset heart health and make your heart beat too fast. Okay. And cancer killing compounds that programs cancerous cells to die. Wow. In, in good high quality black tea. Okay, what are some other ones? Then we have green tea. Green tea. I love green tea. It helps with skin health, beauty from the inside. And so much better than the, those products with um, peroxide, benzoyl mm -hmm. peroxide. Mm -hmm. And it also contains an amino acid called L-theanine, which makes you feel nice and calm. I see ginger tea. Yes. Oh, I want you to try this one, Shali. This is a this is white tea, uh -huh. and it has guava and ginger in oh. it. Isn't this thing nice and cool? Is there a difference between doing hot tea and iced tea? I, I drink iced tea every morning. Is there a difference? No, that's fine. In the summer, yeah, you just don't want to drink too many cold things with your food because it'll slow the digestive process. Okay, but there's not a difference tea-wise if you, it doesn't do anything to the actual tea. No, it just depends how okay. it's steeped. It should be steeped for like 10 minutes or so. So that's the white guava oh, ginger. This, this is really good. This yeah. is really good. It's delicious. White tea helps lower blood pressure, cholesterol, and then I love this one. Have you heard of red bush tea? 
Not Redbush, no. What's okay. Redbush? Okay, Redbush is a tea that comes from South Africa. I discovered it when I was there and I loved it ever since. It has 50 times the antioxidants of regular tea. Oh, that smells so good. This one is a caramelized apple. Is there such thing as too much tea? Can you do that? Like you could have too much coffee and you get like, Grr. can you do that with tea? You can do that with black tea or green tea. But I, I really think, you know, go for it with the caffeine-free teas because there's so many great properties mm -hmm, in them. Mm -hmm. And for people who don't like water because it's too boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. this, this adds it. This is cool because it has a little bit of a sweetness in it. Yes, with yeah. the apple. And look how high quality these teas are. When you're buying your tea, you want it to look like the full leaf, not just the shake. And there's one more, and I know that I used to do this a long time ago, I bet at uh, nighttime. Nighttime ritual. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah. We have morning ritual, we have nighttime ritual. So chamomile tea. I love chamomile tea. It's so calming and soothing to the nervous system. It's so calming and soothing to the stomach if you have a stomach ache um, and for menstrual cramps. That's your food as medicine Ooh. for menstrual cramps, and it accelerates wound healing. I mean, this stuff for is the chamomile. very powerful. Mm -hmm. Krista, this is amazing stuff. I think I, I would encourage anyone that mm -hmm. uh, doesn't feel right or you feel like you want to make a change in your energy, like mm -hmm. call Krista. She'll get you all hooked up, get you, you off the coffee and onto the tea. Mm -hmm. I promise you it will make a huge difference. Cheers. It will. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers to tea. As we send it back over to you guys. By the way, you can find Krista. We put the information for you on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Click the scene on tab. Love the tea. Mm. So mm. nice.